This delicious rice cooker meal is low calorie, healthy, and super easy to make. Hey everyone, I'm Coral and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, click that subscribe button down below and hit the bell for new videos every week. Last year I shared a review of the Aroma rice cooker and then I followed it up a few months later with a video on how to steam vegetables in the rice cooker. The response to these videos has been really great so far so I decided to step it up a notch and share a meal that you can cook fully in this rice cooker. It's super easy and turned out way more delicious than I even thought it would. And depending on the size of your rice cooker, you can make from a small amount all the way up to enough to feed your whole family. The ingredients that you'll need for this meal are chicken tenders, a teriyaki sauce and marinade. I highly recommend this soy ve, very, very teriyaki marinade and sauce. It was absolutely delicious. Rice, broccoli. I decided to keep it super simple and go ahead and buy the pre-cut broccoli florets. That way I just have to pop them in the rice cooker whenever I'm ready. And the last thing that you'll need is a Ziploc bag. Step one is to marinate your chicken. So you're gonna take your chicken tenders out and place them in the Ziploc bag. However many you think will fit in your rice cooker or feed your family is what you wanna add. My rice cooker is very small and my steamer tray doesn't hold a whole lot. So I figured that about six of the chicken tenders would fit in my steamer tray. So I added six chicken tenders to the Ziploc bag and then you're going to pour the marinade over your chicken tenders. I used about a fourth of a cup of marinade. I didn't wanna to add too too, too much. You just want enough to cover the chicken tenders. Then seal the bag and you can spread out the chicken to coat it in the marinade and then you're going to place it in the fridge until we're ready to cook it. Step two is to prepare the rice. The rice is going to take the longest to cook in this meal so we want to get that started right after we get our chicken marinating. So you're going to measure out the amount of rice that you want to cook with the measuring cup. For my husband and I, I usually just cook one cup of rice. Then rinse the rice. If you don't have a strainer or a colander to rinse the rice in. You can do what I do and just rinse it in the inner pot and then pour out the water. I do this a couple of times to get all of the starch off of the rice. That way it's not too sticky. Then fill the water to the water line in the inner pot that corresponds to the amount of cups of rice that you are cooking. Place it in the rice cooker and then select the rice type. The next step is to wait for the rice cooker to start steaming. So the rice cooker doesn't start steaming right away. It takes a little while for it to heat up and start actually cooking and steaming your rice. You wanna wait until the rice cooker has started steaming to put your chicken and vegetables into the rice cooker so that they have a chance to fully cook. For my rice cooker with one cup of brown rice, it took about 26 minutes for my rice cooker to start steaming. You'll know it's steaming once the steam starts coming out of the steam vent, and if you're nearby, you'll hear the steam coming out as well. After the rice cooker has started steaming, then it's time to add the chicken. The chicken takes 30 minutes to steam in the rice cooker, so we are going to add the chicken first before the broccoli. Before I add my chicken to the steamer basket, I like to place it on top of a plate because there is a marinade with juices and I don't want that getting all over the counter. So I place the steamer basket on top of a small plate add the chicken, and then place it in the rice cooker to start cooking. Once you add the chicken, set a timer for 15 minutes because we're going to add the broccoli to the last 15 minutes of cooking. Once the timer goes off, the next step is to add the broccoli. You're going to want to do this as quickly as possible so you lose the smallest amount of steam whenever you're adding the broccoli. I just place the broccoli on top of the chicken and add as much broccoli as you want over the top of the chicken and sprinkle it with some salt. Now the next step is totally optional and that is adding a little bit more of the teriyaki sauce on top of the broccoli. In my experience, it adds a lot of extra flavor and some of the sauce drips down into the rice, adding some extra teriyaki flavor to the rice as well, which is really yummy. Once you close the lid, then you're gonna set another 15 minute timer. After the second timer has gone off, your chicken has now been cooking for 30 minutes and everything should be fully cooked. It is best practice though to check the internal temperature of your chicken before you pull it out of the 
rice cooker to make sure that it is fully cooked. Chicken should be cooked to an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Once you have checked that your chicken is fully cooked, you're going to want to remove the steaming tray from the rice cooker. That way your food doesn't continue to cook. Be careful when removing the tray because there's probably still steam coming out of the rice cooker and you don't want to burn yourself. After you remove the steamer tray, you may need to let your rice continue cooking. My rice cooker had about 10 minutes left of cooking time for the rice when I removed the steamer tray, so I just placed the tray in the microwave to let it keep warm while the rice continued cooking. The last step is to plate and serve. After the rice is finished cooking, it is ready to eat. I like to place a scoop of rice on my plate and then pile on the chicken and broccoli on top. I also like to add a little bit more of the teriyaki sauce on top for some extra flavor. And there you have it, a super easy meal cooked totally in your rice cooker. If you want a full review of this Aroma Rice Cooker, click right here for my full review video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.